I'm Mike Soper, I'm a product manager at Phoenix Controls and I'm responsible for sensors and accessories. When we talk about solutions from Phoenix Controls, we're talking about critical airflow for critical needs. Critical needs to take care of uh, safety for personnel in the facility and also to talk about energy savings. The Venturi valve does flow metering. A VAV terminal box has to have a cross-flow sensor and a pressure transducer. That device is the critical device for measuring and managing airflow in a VAV terminal box. But that device has inherent problems, and those problems are maintenance, accuracy, and drift over time. When we talk about maintenance, we talk about that cross-flow sensor that sits in the airstream. As air flows past that sensor, the VAV terminal box has to use that as its measurement criteria to decide how much am I going to open or close the blade damper in order to deliver the proper airflow to the space. No matter how much you have good filtration in line with the system, you're going to get some type of particles that are going to accumulate on that cross flow. They're going to affect the overall measurement ability of that, of that device. Another problem with cross-flow sensors and pressure transducers is accuracy. Typically when a general contractor is buying a VAV terminal box, they're not paying attention to the accuracy of the pressure transducer. If that's not a very accurate device, then it's not going to be accurately measuring the proper flows for that space, and hence the pressurization of that space could be compromised. The third problem that can happen with pressure transducers and cross-flow sensors is drift. What can happen over a year, over two years, is the general accuracy of these devices can change. The more you're trying to turn down that airflow, the more accurately you want to measure that lower airflow. If these devices have drifted over time and not been recalibrated, this can compromise the pressurization of your spaces. We have these three inherent problems. And when you sum all of those up, if they're not maintained, if they're not very accurate, and if they drift over time, all of those are stacking up to really compromise the overall safety of personnel and the overall ability for a company or a facility to save energy.